everybody, welcome back to my channel, Alex here. And if you've never seen it, these big old cheeks before, then do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So for today's video, super excited because I get to try a new foundation with you guys. This one is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It's a hydrating foundation. And you guys who've been with me for a while already know I have a combination oily skin, combination acne prone skin. I've got everything going on with my skin. Um, I just did a skincare routine too. So if you wanna go ahead and see that, I'll card it somewhere up here or list it in the description box for you. So for a long time, I've only been gravitating towards anything that's mattifying. And um, excuse my voice if um, I sound a little bit hoarse. Yes, trying to get my voice back. But um, I had to come and talk to you guys about this. I wanted to do first impressions because I have never tried a hydrating foundation. I've always stayed away from them, and I can't get this open to save my life, because of the, the way my skin acts, I always get oily here, straight down, like anywhere you probably see the camera shining, that's where I usually get oily. So I picked this up because I saw it had hyaluronic acid in it and collagen. And those two things really plump up the skin, so I was super excited, I was like, Okay, Maybelline, let me let me see what you got. Let me tell you what the website claims. It says that it visibly improves the look of skin, which is probably due to the hyaluronic acid, gives a natural looking glow that you'll never want to take off. Okay. It's a lightweight foundation um, and collagen hydrates and soothes the skin while delivering a medium radiant coverage. So it also says it's going to deliver up to 12 hours of hydration. Okay, and it says it comes in about 20 different shades. So let's see how it works. I picked up the shade 125, coconut. I'm usually coconut in all of Maybelline's foundations, so that's why I picked up coconut in this one. Before I get into that, I'm not going to wear a primer per se today, but I have been loving this pore refiner by Bioderma it's really been doing something with my pores, like I'm modifying areas that I put it on. Like I am shocked with this thing. It was attached to my Bioderma um, makeup remover. And I said, let me try it. And it's been, it's been really nice. It's very lightweight and it takes rid of like it gets rid of shine like i'm like this is amazing so i hope to get a really full thing of this um i'll put a link to it down in the description box but let's get into this foundation shall we should i do my brows first i think i will i'm guessing i do my brows first so let me do my brows first and i'll be right back okay so brows are on head scarf is on if you see some redness that's because i was tweezing <laughs> as i went along sorry so yeah like i said i got the color coconut and the brush that I'm going to be using to apply this today is by Moda from their Pro line. Um, I definitely have a discount code for you guys if you want to get some affordable brushes from Moda. Loving them as always. This is the BMX 180 Buffer Brush. Super soft brush. Very, very good. So let's get her out. I am shaking her up because I had her standing for a while. Let's see the consistency on the face. No? Okay. Let's do it on the arm then. So, sleeves are up. Let's see. Huh. You get a really good amount once you pump it out. So that's nice. The color doesn't look too bad. Um, a little red. <laughs> it looks a bit red. Sometimes it can blend out. So let's see. Like I said, coconut usually works for me in Maybelline foundations so I'm hoping that this works so okay it doesn't have much of a smell like no like heavy perfume mm -mm. and it's blending y'all it is blending mm -mm. Yeah, the smell isn't bothering me at all. Um, in terms of coverage, it is medium. It's definitely medium. Um, it's trying to cover up my imperfections. Um, it is doing it a bit, but it is definitely medium coverage. 
nothing full about this. It feels cooling on the skin too. As I blend it out, it feels very cooling. Do you see like, you don't need a lot of it either. That was one pop on my forehead. So a good bit goes a long ways. Like on camera, it looks full coverage, but in person, um, I will see if I can build it up to, you know, cover up my acne scars, but we shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and get into just finishing up my face so you guys can watch um, how this plays out. a little bit closer so you can see what's happening um <laughs> it covered but it's not as you can see like this is medium like it's not really doing much for the scars um they're still there you know so I didn't read any of that on the bottle I just was like it's a new foundation from Maybelline I want to try it so yeah I really didn't check um to see any of that but it looks good on the skin. It kind of almost melts it in and even stuff out. So I can I can give them that. It did even me out a bit. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do another bit of it and let's see if it gives me anything else. I'm putting it directly on the brush now. So this is the second coat and um, the first coat was feeling really lightweight and the second coat I can kind of feel it a little bit more I can feel it drying down as opposed to the first round of uh, foundation in terms of how it looks I'm trying to get really into this mirror here um, it's Still, after the second coat, it's still medium coverage. It didn't really, the darker marks have not gone away. So I can give them that. Definitely medium coverage. You can build it up, but I wouldn't build it up anymore after the second one. Like I wouldn't go for a third or fourth coat on this. I would literally just go in and spot conceal um, if I wanted to wear, you know, to cover up anything else. But so far, in terms of how it moves around on the skin, it, it moves around like, and it feels hydrating. It doesn't feel drying or anything like that. Um, my skin in the viewfinder looks really supple and um, I don't look oily. I just look really refreshed, if that makes sense. So just checking the viewfinder and talking to you guys at the same time. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do the rest of my face to see how it plays with other products. And I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm all done with this face, hopefully. Um, so far, it played with everything that I would normally use pretty good. Um, only thing was when I was doing my bronzer, it kind of wasn't moving, like it started to move around. So I would say don't buff too hard when you're like powdering and things like that with this. This is not one of those foundations that actually like to your skin and like doesn't move so far. Um, that's what I've come to see what's happening with this. So I'll tell you the time. It is now 1.59. Yes, I have a picture of myself on my phone. It's okay. So it's 1.59 and as with Vancouver weather, it is pitch black outside. But um, I have a couple of things I need to get done. So I'll probably check in maybe about 8 o'clock tonight um, to show you guys what everything it's been looking like. So yeah! I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Okay guys, so I am back and I am exhausted. I have done so much today. I have made dinner twice. I've done laundry, like I've, it's been a full day. It is now, let me get the time for you on this phone. It is 11.11, if you can see that. 
So it's been um it's been a little over 10 hours and um I can say this this right here, Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. It's been doing pretty good throughout the day. Like I've only seen oil build up around the nose, not too much up here. Like in person, it's just not super oily. Like it doesn't look like Crisco y, it just looks really natural like what you have naturally throughout the day so it gives you more like a skin kind of look but you can see the oil build up right here across here like it's not in the mirror it's not too much in this area and I did notice some settling in my smile lines not too bad mind you I was when I first saw it starting to crease I was like oh it's gonna look really bad but it actually doesn't look bad at all it looks kind of normal like what I'd see um, throughout the day so I am pretty impressed I think the hyaluronic acid really helped with this um, because then that means it released that moisture and kept that moisture throughout the day so there wasn't no shifting or any movement in terms of the foundation at all it still felt really lightweight it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey I don't feel like I want to just rip my face off like some foundations you know at the end of the day after a long day you just want to oh I just want to take it off but this I don't feel any type of way like that at all with this so if you're looking for something that's i guess really quick and that's gonna pull through throughout the day then go ahead and give the maybelline uh, dream radiant liquid foundation a try so far so good guys but yeah if you have tried this foundation do let me know down in the comment section what you think about it i definitely would make this one my everyday foundation like even though it's not full coverage i think it, it works it looks pretty good like it doesn't have to be super full-on full coverage for me all the time um but it looks pretty good. I don't see any acne scars or anything like that peeking through even after a long day. So yeah, it's just in the nose area. I started seeing the oil um, around, I believe, hour six. So I started to see a little bit of shine. I didn't blot or anything like that, guys. So just keep that in mind. Let me actually blot for you so you can see um, what it would look like if I did blot. Now I just have my little beauty blender blotting thing. If you have a tissue paper, you can split it in half and do this as well. I just want you to see what it would look like if I did go ahead and blot up some of it. So do you see a difference? I see a little bit of a difference. Like it's not as, as shiny as it was earlier, but yeah. I just wanted to show you guys my thoughts on this one. This one, like I said, is a keeper. Um, definitely gonna be an everyday foundation for me, so it's gonna go into my rotation. So yeah, you guys, as always, do me know down in the comment section if you've tried this before, if you're using it already, if you're gonna go ahead and get it, let me know. I will have it listed and linked, as well as everything that I've got on my face today down in the description box. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have, and I'll see you in my next video really, really soon. Bye, guys.